Hi friends, welcome back. A very good uh, evening to all in this video. Hope you are doing good and I'm also doing good. So friends, in this video, we are going to see about Equita Small Finance Bank Limited. So specifically after a long time we are covering this stock because we let this time for the share price to grow and the share price has definitely grown and the profit also is growing at a good pace. And now regarding some specific pointers we need to speak about this thing. Being a small finance bank, this company's profit is even greater than the normal banks which are holding a banking license. And that is a very good thing if we consider from the perspective of small finance bank. And we come, when, when we used to compare many small finance banks at a time. We used to compare, I think, uh, Ujjivan small finance bank, Ecuador small finance bank as well as AU small finance bank. For me, I think for me, the all-time favorite has always been Ecuador small finance bank. The reason because I love the company's performance, I love what how the management is working towards the performance. And apart from all these factors, there could be some hiccups and downs which could be coming in the way. I just want to make sure I just say to you. And the first somewhat negative news is that for the April month, for the April month, there has been a selling by which funds, and that is a worry something. That's the first worry something. And second thing is that on a technical perspective, I just want to share these views. And here for the first time on the technical front, there could be two or three things which is happening in a different, different way. The final decision is going to be taken by you. Okay. The first thing is that RSI is going to get peaked. It is at 68.57 right now. This is a one year graph of Equita of Small Finance Bank Limited's technical path chart. Okay. On a one year perspective chart, we see RSI is already peaked in March 23, but is again going to peak in um, coming months. It could peak in the May coming months. On that is a bad thing. And second thing is that money flow index is also going to peak. It has already peaked, as you can see, it has already peaked. Even it's going to cross above that, like this, we can form a gray area, and that is going to be a overbought zone. On a RSA basis and a money flow basis, it has been a overbought zone. But on an accumulation and a distribution pattern, if we note here, there has been a strong, strong, strong accumulation that has been going on. But the money flow index is bad, right? And that's need to see. And the other thing, if you see here, the momentum is still there. The momentum is at 31.6 ADX graph. It is at 31.6. That is a very strong thing. But there always has been a crisscross pattern. And friends, this time, if this green line, I'm thinking, uh, I just miss I mean, let me let me be somewhat lucid to you. If this green line in, in, in ADX graph is going to cut the blue line. And if it is going to a greater extent to the high levels and even if the accumulation and distribution is positive and put aside this RSA and money front is, if both are at the peak then also no problem the share price is rise. But if the ADX is going to slow down and if you can see here there is a gap between this ADX and this thing is contracting. It is not increasing it is contracting and if this is going to contract it could be bad. Now RSA is on the favor of selling side, money flow is in the favor of selling side, accumulation distribution is favor on the positive side, ADX is on the positive side of buying side. So this is the reality of what is happening in the Equity Small Finance Bank. If any one of the main, main indicators is going to turn negative, I believe ADX indicators will be the main, main indicators not only for Equity Small Finance Bank and even for I think so, um, I think IDC First Bank Limited also. So if these ADS graphs are going to turn into negative, then we can even expect a correction. And mainly the price movement what you're seeing here is that due to the IPL also, we can say E good or small finance bank means basically IPL is going to be positive for this bank. And these reasons making the company to grow high. But on a fundamental basis, I really love this company or the company is doing good. But on a technical basis, it's time to be very careful of the share price movement. It can turn anyway, any side. It is on a tie breaker level if the tie breaker level is going to be positive for the share price it will rise if negative it's going to fall if you ask me that could be a possible correction that could be happening in this company that is coming by friends thank you and bye